Tulekea katika kaunti ya Nakuru ambapo kijana mmoja katika kaunti hiyo anaunda roboti anapania kuwasaidia maafisa wa kijeshi kubaini na kutegua vilipuzi wakati wa kupambana na magaidi kutokana na kazi hiyo ya miaka saba sasa ameweza kutengeneza na kuboresha aina sita za roboti hizo huku akiwa na matumaini kwamba hii ambayo anatengeneza kwa sasa itafaulu zaidi mwana habari wetu George Keru anatupa maelezo hayo zaidi katika eneo la mzee wa nyama kaunti ya Nakuru tunakutana na David Lawrence mwenye umri wa miaka 19 akiwa amepanga vifaa vyake anavyotumia kutengeneza roboti hii yenye umbo la mbwa meaning that we are making it very intelligent lengo la kifaa hiki ni kusaidia maafisa wa jeshi kupambana na magaidi kwa kutathmini penye mitego ya mabomu na hivyo kuitegua kabla ya madhara you know a robot is a, it's a computer and computers are very accurate. So the chance of mistakes are very minimal compared to a human being uh, trying to deactivate that. So there's no in the future there's no need even to to expose our our soldiers to certain uh, hazards. If a machine is destroyed it's very different from a person being killed. You know a machine you can replace but human life no. So this is something that will save a lot of lives. Wazo la kutengeneza roboti hii lilimjia David alipokuwa darasa la sita akiwa na umri wa miaka 14 so hii ni robot ya sita nimekuwa nikiunda kila mwaka niki develop according to the era size na pia nina advance to pole pole according to the resources that i have because building a robot means you have to combine a city a mechanics and electronics hii mambo zake za kuwa creative alianza akiwa mdogo mdogo kabisa hata toy zake akiwa mdogo akiwa anazitupa Hata in fact mimi nilikuwa nazitupa kama ajui. Jua alikuwa naziweka pamoja pamoja. Sasa ameendelea hivyo akiwa primary, akaanza kunda ndege ya mbao, aka advance, akaanza ya machuma. Sasa akaendelea hivyo mpaka wakati tumefika saa hizi hivi. Lakini tulikuwa tunaona tu kama ni mchezo. Tukaanza sasa kumpea kumpea support. In the skeleton. Kutokana na ugumu wa kupata vifaa anavyohitaji, Lawrence hulazimika kuunda akitumia vifaa anavyopata nyumbani kwake. Oh, despite the challenges, who me niko na that self belief that akuna no man is limited. So hata kama nimi face financial challenge ya kupata specific gears. What do I do? Naenda natumia baisikeli. Kama niko na challenge ya kupata certain computers. So naweza tumia hata hii simu kadogo. David anaeleza kuwa changamoto inaua ndoto za wengi wenye ubunifu wa kiasili kama wake ni ukosefu wa fedha za kuwawezesha kutimiza ubunifu wao even in science congress to a lot of ideas but some of them has fit the the target because abu most are very good ideas zenye maybe zinaweza kuwa unaona maybe it's not something technical but once you prove your idea tunaona ni kitu very much possible aidha wanafunzi huyu wa taasisi ya kiufundi ya Thika anaamini kuwa stashahada ya mafunzo ya ufundi wa umeme na vifaa vya umeme itamwezesha kuafikia ndoto yake because we learn about wires we learn about uh, electrical connections so it's something that will do me real good welcome Kufikia sasa David ametengeneza programu inayowezesha roboti hiyo kuzungumza ila anasema safari ingali mbali na ufanisi. The software I've downloaded it for now because I don't have a, a, a computer to actually do my ICT research to actually be able to make one but uh, putting in mind that the robot is a uh, three in one ICT, electronics and mechanics, I've been able to perfect on mechanics and part of electronics. So the ICT is where I'm still working on it. Anairai serikali kuwaungwa mkono wabunifu ili kuwawezesha kuchangia uimarikaji wa teknolojia nchini. Bitha ilio mbele yangu kwa wengi haina maana. Lakini kwa ke David Kamau ni mali ambayo amekuwa kikusanya kwa muda wa miaka saba akiwa na azma ya kutengeneza roboti itakao saidia wanajeshi wa Kenya kupigana na ugaidi. George Kieru, NTV, katika kaunti ya Nakuru.